Hello, I am Elf, Elf Night Gaming. This is Trove. This is my second day of the, my return to Trove series. Um, yep, still the Chloromancer. It is Adventure Loot Day. It is time to do 500 cubits. Um, yeah, sure. And right now, the Steam servers may be offline, but since Trove uses Glyph, that won't be a problem, will it? No, it won't. Obviously, we're in the game. Now, apparently I have stuff waiting for me. The little present is uh, presenting itself in the corner. A chaos chest and a daily loot chest. So, so we'll claim... Did I? No, I didn't claim them. I'll claim those and I'll open a chaos chest. We got sticky ichor, which... Okay. And the daily loot chest. And jade clovers. I have plenty of jade clovers. Uh, hopefully I could feed my dragon some souls today. My uh, little fairy dragon thing. <coughs> oh, he's not going to make it up here. Oh, here he is. I don't know if anyone was in here. I'm sorry if it was, but... And look, here's the dinosaur biome right there. It's, looks like a dinosaur egg. There's a meteorite. Right here. <laughs> There's recipe dungeons. I don't think the dino biome recipes will sell for very well on the store since there's not very many of them. It's very easy to learn them all. Unless they add some new stuff. Jesus. What's going on over there? Hmm. Not sure what that was about. So we're going to go down under, we're going to do some dungeons. I'm not going to dick about with the egg things too much. Jeez. Alligators. It's alligators in here. Don't stand a chance, do they? Gym box. Good, good, good. And you put me back on top. Look at all the dungeons, all the layers of dungeons. Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm right there. So I need to go back under. This is not going to work with me. Uh... Unless that bird doing that. Okay. There are cavemen and, and tribes down here. <laughs> they definitely did a good job with this bio. It's not... Come on, one more guy. I could just... I could just put those flowers down, or cacti, or whatever they're called down, and it... And they, uh, they handle business. Now that's the... Launching tree. Oh, there's ore spawns in here, too. <coughs> What is 
What's this? Huh. It's elevated. It's like giant frogs or something. Booga, booga, booga. Piece of red gear. Not sure about the recipe dungeons. I mean, I've learned everything here. I could do them just for the points, point value. So. Jurassic recipe. Yeah, I'm level 24. I'm not gonna level up on on the recording because it takes entirely too long. Leveling up is something I do off camera. It just takes too long. Insanity. Frogman. armor pieces, those weapons that gear. Yep, I'm going the wrong direction. There's a recipe layer there, but it's glitched into the uh, above the world be up here uh, I could go do this one the glitched recipe layer Meteorite chunks, there's one. Cubic get. <laughs> it's definitely more challenging now than it was. Um, I don't know. Yeah, they're supposed to be doing some things uh, in the future weeks to come with some new uh, mobs and stuff. I'll open these boxes here. Here, Jim. 
I got a water gem of sort. A blue water gem. That's it. Okay. Do I have any more boxes to open? Already collected all these items for the Jurassics. So what that means, I need to go home, grind up the stuff, check the store. And call it a wrap. Throw all this junk in. It's all junk. Every bit of it's junk. I could try to sell the Jurassic recipes. I'm, I'm not sure what they go for. I have to look. Let's see if I can level up some more jumps or something too. Oh yeah, now um, when you're doing crafting and stuff, things pull out of your chests as well as your local inventory. So it all counts as one inventory when you're crafting. So no more of the uh, dropping things from the chest into your inventory to go craft. They now crafting machines and things like that see it as one big inventory. And they've also added this um, which of course costs credits to open more inventory slots there's also inventory uh, slots here that I need to get you can open you can buy more of these I thought I cleared all this out already start off with Five, and you can buy more for 500 and I'm assuming that these go up they double or whatever or well, maybe they stay the same I don't know just don't know anymore okay so the store I had sold meteorites okay do I have any more meteorites I have recipes you can look up recipes One Jurassic recipe goes for about two ninety five. But I have two. Of course you have people that try to sell one recipe for thousands of credits and things like that too. I don't understand that logic. So I think I need to stay the course <coughs> with the, uh, excuse me, that and just grind these down to blanks. Put them like a box. And get my meteorites out. Back here, we will be selling. Ten. Four. You know, I'm going to go a little lower this time. Just to fluctuate the market a little bit. I could terraform some more, but I'm not, not going to worry about it. Those things are everywhere if you know where to look. But like I said, uh, get all you can get and sell all you can now. Because I have a feeling they're going to nerf the spawns of those in a couple of patches, maybe. I don't know. I'm not 100% certain on that. They may not. Or they may, you know, and they never know what these people, what they do, so. So, uh, yeah, um, I need to claim stuff, too. I have cubits claim. Oh! Haha, I know what I can do. I can feed my dragon, because I can now buy... I can buy dragon coins. The real question now remains is, do I have fairy dust? <laughs> or do I need to visit the store? 
I have 77 Paradis, so okay, I can I can go to the hub. This is what we're gonna do. We'll go to the hub and see if I can't do something here with the with the dragon. You see, I didn't get the fairy dust out of my chest because watch, um, it will. Moonwing Dragon is the one, and it will take the fairy dust from my inventory, so 77 and all that. So I can make two, because I only have enough coins to make two, and I'll probably get one coin out of something. They always manage to either leave me with one coin, or the next dragon cash or loot box that I get will give me one coin. <laughs> Okay, so my little dragon has been fed. My chat is not scrolling for some reason. It's oh, weird. The Moonwing Dragon is the one that I'm working on now. I have the Ancient here fully leveled. Got the perks. When you get a dragon to max level, you gain some perks. Um, some stats, whatever you call them, you call them perks, call them stats, uh, things like that. And you know, the goal is to get all the dragons because, from what I've heard or gathered, that the perks roll over like the perks for my ancient dragon are now on me, they're stuck on to me. And when I get the Moonwing Dragon upgraded, those perks will be applied on top of the other deck to compile on top of them, thus increasing the overall perk. Uh, set up or uh, whatever you want to call it so yeah that's uh, that's the dragon and this is just a normal episode nothing extravagant going on there's a neon dragon my uh, friend has one of those we play on this flying around here's another type of dragon here not sure what that is what kind it is. I think it might be an ice uh, biome dragon. Hang around hub long enough you'll see all sorts of things that you didn't think existed. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here in the hub. And I am Elf, Delta Gaming, and this is the um, second episode of My Return to Trove. And I hope you enjoy this episode and the one before it and the ones to come. If you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you feel the urge to. It's all free. It's all painless. No one's asking for anything up from you but a little bit of eyeball time. And with that, I'll leave you guys to your devices. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.